Hey, you guys finally made it. I was searching for hours. Still didn't see any sign of those three, so uh, I decided to come back. How about you? Find anything? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Hmm, I see. So you came up empty-handed, too. Well, it doesn't matter. I already came up with a new plan. Huh? What plan? Shinobu told me a saying after she got back from studying in Liyue. It went something like, uh, the something by day becomes, uh, something by night? Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, keep up. Anyway, I was so focused on scaring people last round that those three dressed up as ghosts caught me completely off guard. But not this time! Oh no, I'll be hiding nearby and waiting for those three to emerge first, and then I'll nail them with a surprise attack! You two just gotta keep playing it natural and join the contest, got it? Okay, see you later. Wait, Ito! Uh, he ran off again. Well, his plan does make some sense, at least. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Shrine Maiden so we can join the second round. Congratulations on winning the first round of the Test of Courage! Now you're one step closer to the dark, messy truth. But is that really a good thing? Ooh. Hey! Cut the nonsense! What we just saw was super terrifying! Oh, really? Good to hear. Hearing the word super terrifying is exactly what all us event organizers would like to hear. Something mysterious is also happening here, not just the event! So what? You've heard the stories about the Test of Courage, haven't you? Everyone who participates in the event faces a variety of emotions. People are afraid of seeing their innermost fears appear before them, and yet they still seek the thrill of experiencing those fears. So, isn't it natural for us to have things in the dark and deathly silent forest to help fulfill that experience? Just like the grinning monster standing behind you right now, waiting for you to turn around! Ah, really? <laughs> I knew a little trick like that wouldn't be enough to scare you off. So, congrats on passing this test. The second round of the Test of Courage will begin shortly. Have you found your partner yet? Huh? But don't we already have a partner from the last round? Yes, your team's outstanding efforts certainly won you the last round. So it's understandable that you'd want to pair up with your previous partner. But unfortunately, you must find a different partner for each round of the event. If you don't have a partner by the time the next round begins, then... Yeah, yeah, Paimon already knows! If we don't have a partner in time, then we'll be disqualified. Ugh. <sighs> and see if there's anyone looking for a partner. Hey, a traveler. Hi, Mon. I had a few you two would be here. Oh, you're Mia! You're here too? Mm-hmm. I was also here for the first round, but I arrived a little early, so maybe that's why I didn't see you. By the way, I heard you were the winners. Impressive. I eventually found the hidden dongle milk too, but it was already too late. <laughs> Actually, Paimon still doesn't know how we managed to find it. Paimon was just hiding behind him the whole time, and somehow we won! Traveler, you ever told me you were so good at this sort of event? You were keeping it a secret, were you? Anyway, 
Would you like to pair up with me? We'd be an amazing team. With us working together, the second round will be a piece of cake. Oh, I understand. You have to put some thought into choosing the best partner. You did already win the first round after all. But I'm definitely no pushover when it comes to the test of courage. I've been to loads of these events. Besides, choosing me means you'll have one less tough competitor to deal with. <laughs> anyway, uh, give it some thought. Hey there! Congrats on winning the first round of the Test of Courage! Toma! Wait, were you also a contestant in the first round? I sure was, but I couldn't shake this constant feeling that someone was secretly following me the entire round. He didn't seem to be from the Yashiro Commission, and I was concerned that he might be out to stir up trouble at the event, so I tried to capture him. I didn't expect him to run so fast. I gave chase for a while, but I couldn't keep up. And before I knew it, the round was over. Hmm. Is there a chance he wasn't there to cause trouble? Maybe he was just trying to scare people. Coming all the way to the test of courage to scare people? Well, I guess the world is full of all kinds of weirdos. Anyway, I'm going to be sure to show everyone my abilities in the second round. Oh, Paima remembers you once mentioned you like Kaidong. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Once I really get into it, you might find me to be your toughest competitor. <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. I'm not here for the prizes, just to have fun. My lord has granted me a rare vacation, so I'd rather spend my time relaxing than worrying about some contest. Speaking of which, have you found a partner yet? Would you like to pair up with me? Ah, uh, I understand. I hope you can find the right partner and win the second round. You've probably already heard that to win the Grand Narukami Shrine Special Prize, you have to win all three rounds. I'd like to know what the prize is as well, and you're the only one who has that chance now, so go for it! trying to fall asleep. The test of courage is too scary, so I keep my eyes closed to not feel scared. But as soon as I close my eyes, it's really easy to fall asleep. During the first round, a big bull-headed beast leaped out of nowhere and scared me half to death, so I ran and hid behind a tree. I closed my eyes and tried to hide for a while, but it was really dark and I fell asleep. By the time I woke up, the round was already over. A big bullheaded beast? Oh wait, that sounds like Ushi. Now, no one wants to partner up with me for the second round. Oh, poor Sayu. Uh, wait. But why would you join the test of courage in the first place? Oh, because I heard that being frightened causes you to grow taller. What kind of silly idea is that? That's just a load of baloney. I wasn't sure if it was true either, but since I heard it could help people grow taller, I decided to give it a shot. Well, Sayu doesn't have a partner yet. Should we team up with her? It's okay. No rush. I came here for my own reasons anyway. I'll try to overcome my fear. And sleepiness. But if you do want to partner up, just let me know.
Will you pair up with me for the test of courage? Really? You're willing to be my partner? Great! But please keep an eye on me and don't let me fall asleep again. It's pretty scary here, but I'm going to face my fears this time. 